What's up everybody and welcome to another video. If you're an athlete and you're wondering how much sleep you need per night, I'm gonna explain exactly that to you in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start this video, make sure that you like this video, make sure that you are subscribed and that you have clicked the bell so that you never miss another video and comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. I always have to say that just so that YouTube makes my videos go farther on the algorithm. They're, they're trying to stop me, they're trying to keep me small, but I'm about to break out. They can't handle the Morty machine. Okay, this question is from Scrapapa TV. How about me? I'm a basketball player and I'm going to bed at 9 and I'm waking up at 5 a.m. And at 5 a.m. I'm going for a jog for my stamina. Is eight hours of sleep enough? Okay, guys. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about three tips that you can use to maximize your sleep as an athlete because I posted a previous video on this topic and I got a lot of questions. So this is what you need to do. Tip number one is stop drinking caffeine after 12 noon. Caffeine has a six hour half-life, meaning that if you drink a cup of coffee, which is around 80 milligrams of caffeine at 2 p.m., we'll say, that means that six hours later at 8 p.m., there is still half of that coffee, 40 milligrams, still circulating through your system, not allowing you to get full rest and deep recovery sleep. So all, the thing that you could do is just stop drinking caffeine after 12. Even better is that you could try to keep all your caffeine in the morning, definitely don't drink caffeine afternoon and then definitely, definitely do not drink caffeine before you go to bed. That's tip number one. Just stop drinking caffeine after 12 o'clock noon. Tip number two is to stop looking at screens one hour before you go to bed. Read a book, do some stretching, do something that does not cause you to look at television screens, laptop, iPad, iPod, your cell phone. Don't look at these screens before you go to bed because these screens omit off blue light, which flies into your brain waves and suppresses melatonin, which also does not allow you to get deep recovery sleep. So you do these hard workouts, you eat right all day, and then you don't maximize your sleep. Which sleep is when you maximize your recovery the most. Sleep is when you build your body bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. So you have to maximize it. So that's tip number two. Just stop looking at all these screens an hour before bed. Play Connect Four with your girlfriend. If you don't have a girlfriend, read books on how to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I don't know what you like. So number one, stop drinking caffeine after 12 o'clock noon. Number two is stop looking at screens. Number three, stop using an alarm to wake up. In Scrap Hop TV, this is where I'm going to answer your question of whether or not eight hours is enough for you as an athlete to maximize your gains. So you are not meant to sleep until the alarm goes off. You are meant to sleep until the work is done in your brain and in your body. When the work is done in your brain and in your muscles, your tendons, your central nervous system, your body will wake you up naturally. You're not supposed to set an alarm on your phone for 6 a.m. and then go to bed and then Oh, time to get up. You, you're interrupting the recovery process of your brain, your body, your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, your central nervous system, all of that if you use an alarm. So if you need to go to bed earlier, then go to bed earlier and sleep as long as your body needs to sleep and then wake up without an alarm and you will ensure that you have maximized your recovery, therefore maximizing your gains. If you want to maximize your vertical jump, you want to get bigger muscles, you want to get stronger, you have to allow yourself to sleep until your body is done working and done recovering. All right, so those are my three tips. Stop drinking caffeine after 12 noon. Stop looking at screens one hour before bed. Just do some stretching instead and or read a good book instead. And then don't use an alarm to wake up. Go to bed earlier. All right, like this video if you like it. Comment, jump down below if you want a free program. And leave your question down below if you want me to answer your question on a video like this. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss a video and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. The only way that you see results is not if you know something. It's if you know something and you apply that knowledge to your life to make it better. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfold.